Hello folks, I'm Kyle Suley, Brookings coming up, we'll have the latest news headlines and we'll take a look at your wet weather forecast as well. Bill Morneau has resigned as the Minister of Finance and as the MP for Toronto Centre. At a news conference yesterday, Morneau said that he gave his letter of resignation to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Today, Trudeau announced that Krista Freeland, the current Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs, will take over as Finance Minister. She is the first female to hold the position. At the same time, there are reports that Trudeau will request that Parliament be prorogued until October. In provincial news, Dr. Janice Fitzgerald announced that as of August 24th, gatherings of 100 people will be permitted. The change in the rule is limited to businesses and organizations only. There is no change for personal gatherings. Once again, today there were no new cases of COVID-19 and two active cases remain. And the RCMP has confirmed another fatality on the province's highways. A 54-year-old woman died on, Friday, uh, died on Friday after a vehicle that she was a passenger in rolled over on Route 330 in Gander Bay. She was pronounced dead at the hospital following the collision. The driver, a 58-year-old male, suffered minor injuries. The investigation is continuing. The weather forecast is coming up right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. Forecast, we are receiving some much needed rain and that is going to continue into tomorrow for some areas as well. We'll start out with your forecast for tonight. Uh, for the Avalon, we are looking at uh, showers about 2 to 4 millimeters expected, some fog as well, and 13 and uh, carbon copy in uh, Gander, uh, similar conditions expected. And then in Corner Brook tonight, well, we're going to get a lot more rain, 15 to 20 millimeters as possible, with an overnight low of 12. The forecast now for tomorrow, we are looking at Rain, fog, and drizzle to start. We are going to see some afternoon clearing for the Avalon, uh, portions of Central and portions of the West Coast as well. Uh, 24 expected in St. John's and Gander, tomorrow 23 and 22 in Corner Brook. A bit of a different story in Labrador. We are expecting rain for uh, most of the day for Half Valley Goose Bay and for Labrador City. Your extended forecast now, some uh, fog, morning drizzle in St. John's with a high of 24. Still a shower risk as we head through uh, Thursday at 24 as well. Friday, a mix of sun and cloud and 20. Looking at some rain for Saturday and overcast forward your Sunday. And then in Gander, we're looking at 2 to 4 millimeters of rain tomorrow. Uh, that's going to be in the morning. We are going to see some fog and morning rain in 23. And then uh, for Thursday, a chance of showers in 24. Looking pretty nice Friday and Saturday. Sun and cloud and 20 degrees expected. And for Sunday, we are looking at 18 degrees with a chance of some shower activity. And then in Corner Brook, we'll pick up an, uh, an additional 2 to 4 millimeters of rain tomorrow morning, and then skies will clear as we head through the day. On Thursday, some more showers is, is expected with a high of 18. Friday, 16 uh, with a chance of showers. A chance of showers for Saturday as well. Sunday, looking at a mix of sun and cloud and a high of 19 degrees. That's a look at your news and your forecast, and now you can check out newfoundnews.ca for more.